my songs have like the feeling of Alaska in them and the feeling of small town Alaska in them and some of my songs kind of have that, um, you know, I write murder ballads and I don't know, just story, you know, they're very story driven and so I think you pick up on a little bit of that Alaskana in there. Just when I think I'm tired, I'm ready to sit still, then I miss burning up my tires and these battered suitcase wheels. Well, I've been singing since forever, writing songs since I was eight and playing out professionally since I was 17. Um, I play guitar and sing and then I am part of a duet and my bandmate Brian Das plays pedal steel and banjo and sings harmonies. I grew up out in Sleep Mute, Alaska, which is a little tiny village on the upper Kuskokwim, which is out in the western interior of Alaska. It was like this amazing, beautiful, just piece of the state that so few people ever get to see. I'm super lucky to be able to say I come from where I come from. It's made me who I am, and it's it definitely gave me some perspective from a very early age. You know, I did live in Portland for about five years, and part of that was for school, and a big part of it was the draw of it being a musical community. It, it was, I, th I mean, I can't say it wasn't difficult because I, for a while I think I was denying that it was even an option for me to move back. I think for a while my heart was crying out for it, my subconscious was speaking to me, like knowing that moving back to Alaska would be the best thing for me. Um, the conflicts of the career is what I just was thinking, well, is this gonna be possible? You know, the logistics, um, you know, Brian still lives in Portland. How, you know, how was I gonna continue this very meaningful musical relationship? Um, but when it comes down to it, it's like, you write songs because you're following your dreams, you're following your heart, you're listening to yourself, and so, I just was finally at the point like, how true to myself can I continue to be if I'm not even stationed in the spot that I know where my heart wants me to be. So finally I just, yeah, I packed up the car and drove the 2,500 miles up here and it's, it's a, it, you know, there's a few more logistical things, but it's working. I am so happy to be calling Alaska home again. I'm still gone a lot. I have to do tours down in the States, but to be back in this state and get to tour more throughout the state is something that um, is very dear to me. It's like you can't go around a single corner in this place without just kind of having your breath taken away. And I, I always hope that I never take that for granted. It's funny, like little opportunities actually opened up by me coming up here. There's something, you know, Portland is so oversaturated right now with music and you can sit there and be like, make your whole goal to like stand out in Portland and finally I realized that wasn't what I wanted to do at all. There are plenty of opportunities here in Alaska for what I'm wanting to do which is just slowly build, surely show people that we've got songs to share. There's not too many moments when I go oh god if I was only in Portland. Honestly I'm a foodie so the only time I'm really saying that is if I wish I could go to some of my old favorite restaurants down there. <laughs> I love Alaska. I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm Alaskan through and through. Like, I think a lot of people, the story attached to me is the fact that I grew up in Sleep Mute, which for me, personally, that is kind of my big thing. I, I grew up in a hundred person native village in the middle of nowhere. There's just all this history and there's gold mining history in my family and soapstone mining history in my family. It's just, I don't know, I, I don't think I can escape that. I don't know if I will call Alaska home base forever, but right now it's just, it makes sense. It kind of it just reminds me to aspire to feel alive and get out into the woods as often as possible. Alaska dear, I'm coming home a few weeks at a time. Hatcher's Pass is where I'll roam above the timberline. Pretending to be my grandfather, you know I am a man.